Um, well, I was uh, around eight years of age and my grandma, I had a lot of energy and I was dancing to Michael Jackson's music all the time. And so my grandma decided to put me in dance and I chose ballroom dancing, but unfortunately it was too expensive at that time. So I had to stop and then come back at the age of 11 or 12. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's what I like about dancing because it, it could be an escape if you have a bad day, bad mood. You can always go to the studio and just practice, sweat it out and go home and sleep. Well, dancing um, has changed my life completely because Without dancing, I wouldn't even be able to move to a different country and uh, to explore, to meet new people, to have so many good friends and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it, it has changed my life and it has changed my perspective about life. For me, it was never uh, difficult to choose between dancing and some other things yeah some people decide to quit because they they don't have enough time to spend with their friends with their second halves with whatever or that they they want to study and like be successful in some other career <laughs> but um, you have to sacrifice basically a lot of things for that because as a child as a teenager when you dance you have to go to school right you still have to study and you have to be you have to study well and then also you have to practice every day and then travel for dancing competitions and do a lot of different stuff. Um, so basically you have to make a decision that this is what you want to do. I think dancing is both. It's a sport and it's art as well. However, people start to forget that it's still a form of art and they become super super competitive which is okay because everybody likes what they like right yeah but yeah i t i think that dancing yeah. thank you so much is uh, both it's sport and art yes yeah. yeah. it's just you always have to find your inner artist in order to be successful uh dancing regardless if you want to be a competitive dancer or you want to be a social dancer it's still mostly about passion inner artists. Basically, I know that I will always be a dancer, regardless if I win Blackpool or not, if I make $10,000 a month or not, if I make it to the Dancing with the Stars or not, I will always be dancing, I will always be teaching, uh, I will always be performing because this is my passion and uh, it's all together, it's the music, it's the atmosphere, it's the floor, the partner or the audience. Sometimes it's the mirror, or sometimes it's a window, whatever, whatever you can find. It's all combined together. That's why I love dancing.